Hi children, welcome back to our English class. Well, today we are going to know about the punctuation. Fine? Punctuation is the name of the marks used in writing. They are very essential signs to understand a sentence in correct way. They represent the expression and feeling in a sentence. Okay. So, why do we need this punctuation? Okay. Now, let us know the need of the punctuation. Fine. Punctuation is used to bring clarity and meaning to write. In our writing, punctuation will bring the clarity of writing. So, that is why we will use the punctuations in our English grammar. Okay. Coming to your intermediate public examination, uh, they will be giving this punctuation question in a in section C, in section C, 10th bit, in section C, 10th bit. So, uh, they will give three questions in that 10th bit and from those three questions, you what you have to do, you have to rewrite the sentences by using the punctuation marks that means you have to put the punctu punctuation marks wherever the punctuation marks are necessary so most probably in the public examination in your public examination the punctuation marks are being given from the textual passages only means from the text which is in your intermediate textbook intermediate syllabus they won't go beyond the syllabus okay even though if they go also there will be no problem why because today we are going to know how these punctuation marks and where these punctuation marks are used properly to gain good marks okay fine generally these punctuations are divided into three categories three main categories the first one is end punctuation the second one is internal punctuation and the third one is word punctuation so now let us start with our first thing that is end punctuation fine in the end punctuation the first one is full stop second one is question mark and the third one is exclamation fine now let us move to the examples okay so the first example is full stop full stop is also called period in american english at the end of declarative and imperative sentence for example navin is a university student next example come here after most abbreviations and initials like ema master of arts to separate hour from minute and date from month and year also it is used vanita was born on 5 12 2012 like that we can use full stop it is very very easy thing and now let us move to the next one in this end punctuation the second one is question mark fine the second one is question mark it is used at the end of an interrogative sentence or yes or no questions fine it is used at the end of an inter interrogative sentences or yes or no questions for example let us see do you like the sweets are you able to understand like this we can uh, use we have to use these question marks at the end of this type of interrogative sentences or yes or no questions okay we can use a question mark after question tags or similar words also let us see the example of that example this is your car right to confirm that we will use the question tags after question tags also we can use the question marks okay after elliptical questions do you know what are the elliptical questions okay fine doing well listening carefully in trouble coming home coming to park like that fine i hope that you also understood about the usage of question mark from these end punctuations the third one is exclamatory mark exclamatory mark so exclamatory mark is used after an interjection or one word exclamation okay 
it is used after an interjection or one word exclamation okay let us see the example pity she lost her purse showing pity fine uh, okay after an imperative sentence when it is charged with feeling a strong command or an expression then also we can use the exclamatory mark example get lost stop nonsense stop talking and get out from my class in such situations we can use the exclamatory marks okay here uh, it is also used after an emotional expression of joy or sorrow or surprise or shock or anger okay uh, fine example how fabulous the movie is how fabulous the movie is okay what a nasty experience it was what a beautiful flower it is what a wonderful sight it is so in the end uh, we can use the exclamatory marks even sometimes in the beginning also after one word or two words also we can use such exclamatory marks hope you understood about this end punctuations now let us move to the next type of punctuation that is internal punctuation fine what are the internal punctuations the internal punctuations are semicolon colon comma quotation mark and ellipses fine let us know in detail here i go with colon first okay a colon is not often used it indicates a fairly close interdependence between the units that it separates the sentence before the colon should be complete in itself not a sentence fragment okay for example send me the following items art paper pencil ink bottles clips where is the colon colon is after the word items okay uh, in the next one let us observe dictionaries have everything meanings words history origin antonyms and usage fine where is the colon here after the word everything there is a colon you can see there clearly i will mark it no problem cancer is dangerous it kills lakhs of people every year now where is the colon here after the word dangerous <coughs> and in the next sentence the bike is very expensive it gives hardly 30 kilometers a liter now where is the colon after the word expensive now let me show where is the colon in these sentences okay see here after items there is a colon and here after everything after everything there is a colon and here after dangerous there is a colon and after the word expensive there is a colon these in such type of sentences we can use colon okay now let us move to our next slide quotation marks are commas that are put upside down above the line of writing for example uh, quotation marks are used in direct speech for instance the quotation marks are used in direct speech to enclose titles of the stories plays poets essays articles i i have given an example also here you can see the example he said i am busy where are the quotation marks before i there there are uh, uh, there is starting of the quotation mark and after busy there is the ending of the quotation mark see following that who are you there also you can see the quotation marks she asked who are you she asked there also you can see the quotation marks fine uh, you see in the next uh, in the next example tagus geetanjali is my favorite book where is the quotation mark geetanjali okay i will mark it no problem okay here 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 and here here to geetanjali see these are the into see see the difference between the uh, quotation marks which are in the first sentence and the second sentence in the first sentence there are two quotation marks in the second sentence there there is single quotation mark so you need not to get confusion any confusion about this anything uh, we have to understand whether it is in the quotation mark or not 
okay i hope that you understood the quotation mark also let's come to comma a comma is the most frequently used mark of punctuation which provides a light pause in a sentence we all know and it is very very easy that where to use comma even though let us see the examples james comma anthony comma rahim and sundar are studying in the same school and coming to the next example raghava is rich clever brave and honest we can also use in this type of sentence also uh, like uh, after we attended the party we left for delhi these are the clauses in clause sentence also we can use the commas fine if it rains i won't go for shopping here also we can use comma mumbai the business capital of india is facing a severe water crisis okay in such type of cases also we can use commas fine see here in the next sentence dear sham after dear sham there is a comma in letters commonly you see in letters dear sir or uh, dear friend or dear uncle like that after writing that you can use comma and uh, uh, here uh, and following it you can see you was sincerely after you were sincerely or you were fa you was faithfully or uh, you was uh, obediently like that in such cases you can use comma Uh, and uh, let us come to the next and last uh, example ram is clever isn't he in the question tag so in the question tags also we can see commas usually so where did i keep the comma can, can you see the commas clearly okay let me mark the commas where are the commas okay commas are here 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 like that i hope that you understood very well about the comma now let us see semicolon it signifies a long pause in a sentence what is semicolon it signifies a long pause in a sentence the pause is greater than that created by comma so this pause is little bit stronger than comma and weaker than a full stop so this semicolon is stronger than comma and weaker than full stop so let us see the examples also here Uh, mandela was honest sincere and brave all loved him so where is the semicolon after the word brave fine behave yourself well there all the honor lies okay now let us see the next example it is a big mistake however you are excused this time okay now see the next uh, now see the next example i don't need that bike besides it is too costly fine uh, let me mark the semicolon and so as to make you understand clearly fine okay where are the semicolons here after brave uh, after well after word mistake after bike and so on i hope that you understood about the semicolon also now ellipses ellipses is the practice of leaving a word or words in a sentence when they are not necessary for understanding okay uh, where will we use it after a break in speech after a break in speech when we when we talk if there is a long break we can use ellipses what are the ellipses we usually see in the text uh, like dot 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 after the sentence okay let us see the example first example his uh, declaration was the house caught fire dot 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 these are the ellipses okay it can be used also an alternative to the word etc we use word etc etc no for that alternative also we can use dot 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 these are uh, it is known as ellipse okay example i bought fruits nuts rice bread water dot 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 means here it means etc fine 
okay in another instance also we can use uh, this ellipsis when a word or a phrase of a quotation is omitted now let us see the example of this omission uh, sentence also example stone walls do not make a prison dot 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 okay now uh, to make a longer pause in a dialogue also we can use it come here dot 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 go there come soon dot 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 like that in such cases ellipses are used okay uh, i hope that you understood about the ellipses also now coming to the word punctuations uh, we will come across three elements one is apostrophe the second one is hyphen and the third one is capitals okay come on let us go with uh, apostrophe first an apostrophe has two main functions they are to indicate possession example nitya's dress singular possession possession means uh, which is belong to them which are the belongings of such particular person okay uh, and to indicate the contractions also we can use apostrophe for example here there is an example don't can't won't in that cases aren't hmm? wasn't weren't in such cases we can use apostrophe i hope that you understood about the apostrophe also now let me tell about the hyphen the present day tendency to avoid using the hyphen wherever possible okay when will you use hyphen the present day tendency to avoid using the hyphen wherever possible a, hy a hyphen is used in the following ways the first example is been given where did i keep the hyphen pro american in between pro american preschool semi skilled worker non scientific non stop in such cases we can use hyphen and we will move to the next example 21 74 36 44 in such cases also we can use the hyphen hyphen means a small dash for example 1/3 3/5 2/3 in such cases also we can use hyphen okay now let us see the next example see the rule 1 to 6 or 5 to 10 or see the examples 20 to 30 in such cases also we will use hyphen okay y junction u turn t shaped in such cases also hyphen is used so hope you understood about it also now see capital letters it is a basic thing that everybody knows let us see the example she is preparing her test now where is the capital at the opening of the sentence and one more example is there the woods are lovely where is the uh, where is the capital at the beginning example i am going to bed now where is the capital beginning and we can also use these capital letters at the fest for the festivals also for example diwali dasara christmas eid ul fitr and so on okay and we can also use capitals for the days and months also and we also can use uh, these capital letters to the title of the person the prime minister the chief minister the president and so on okay let us see one more example do you believe in god there is a capital at the beginning and i have used the capital to the word god okay the first world war in this you can see there is a capital at there is a capital at the beginning in the word first there is a first letter capital in the word world there is a first letter w capital and in the word there is a w letter it is also it is also capital okay so in such cases also we can use capital letters uh, and uh, let us see the next example the communist party so the communist party the bharatiya janata party the telangana rashtra samiti the janata dal party the united democratic front the left democratic front in such cases also we can use capital letters and i hope that you understood about these three type of punctuations end punctuation internal punctuation and word punctuation what you have to do to get good marks in your examination is you have to read the text very very carefully by observing the punctuations 
so concentrate on the text while you're reading i hope you will do it and one more thing you have to keep in your mind that the the examiner or in the examination they won't go out of the syllabus means whatever the text you have in your textbook from that thing from that sentences only these punctuation marks are given even though even if they have given from the outset of the syllabus also if you practice well you can do very well in this punctuations hope that this video will be very very useful to you to gain four more marks in your ip examinations wish you all the best thanks for watching bye bye